And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today, today is not supposed to be a RimWorld day. I know it's supposed to be a, a tutorial day or something else, but you know what? Some days you just wake up and you want to blow stuff up. And today I want to blow this up. This psychic suppressor's got to go. Uh, to do that, we're not going to go anywhere near it. We're just going to use mortars. We're going to use glorious, glorious mortars to blow it up from a distance. Animals back inside. Chocks away, laddies. Okay, I've got uh, both the Zacks on this, I figure. Simplest thing to do. Come on, fire. Okay, they should both hit perfectly at the same time. Wow, that's a hell of a miss, guys. I'm just... Did, did, did you change targets or something? You must have changed targets. Let's make sure you hit there. Oh my god, I've forgotten how long it takes them to reload these things. Oh, I think we've annoyed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so they woke up. Let's see. Oh, it's impossible to tell. There's too many of everything around here. <laughs> uh, we completely missed the psychic suppressor, of course. We did manage to scratch a mech assembler. Uh, fortunately, we didn't kill any of the unstable power cells yet, but considering the accuracy on mortars, uh, I really don't see us not accidentally wiping out the uh, unstable power cells. Though, on the bright side, this should drag them into our kill box, and once they're in our kill box, we can kill them. Though, we are down on the people we had last time. Oh, I forgot to make more uh, heavy SMGs, didn't I? We've uh, kept up the constant shelling. We've managed to destroy two of the uh, unstable power cells. There's still four left, but I, I'm... Yeah, only these three are going to live. This one's probably going to die eventually. We've reduced the psychic suppressor to 60%. Our people are continuing to shell. Uh, Zach and Zach can just, you know, they can keep at that. For now, though, they're about to enter our kill box. We've got the EMPs going off, and... Yeah, they should hopefully die pretty quickly. Yeah, that actually works out wonderfully. I love the way some of them are getting stuck behind the other stunned ones, and they can't move, so they just have to sort of sit there and get shot. Uh, let's get this forward, but there's only two centipedes. This should actually be, hopefully, not the worst. Bit of a minor problem here. That is, we can't let them be attacking uh, CM Dark. No, get back, get back. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, don't. Don't fire there. We need to get back up front soon. There you go, and start playing down the firepower again. Right about there is good. And oh, god damn it! Get it, get away from our people! Damn it, not Pika! Attack one of the newbies or something. Don't go and attack in our long-term colonists. Hey, uh, um, you. How are you not dead? Hey, alpaca police boys in beige, save the day again. Uh, Loveless found no nearby unreserved steel shells. So that means, yep, we used 20 mortar shells and we got it down to 6.7%. So I suppose we, yep, they're uh, they're good to go. Hopefully if this shell hits, which mm, <laughs> if it does, that would be perfect. Come on, don't stop. Keep pouring on the carnage. Oh God. Yeah, these are an annoyance. Change some targeting priorities and hopefully Come on. Yep, that was beautiful. Okay, a few pikemen. Pikemen are not the worst. It's very hard for them to... Oh, Psychic Suppressor was actually destroyed. That last one actually killed it. Good job, Zack and Zack. You guys can get back to work and I will queue up some more mortar shells. Not too many, though. We can't afford to be doing stuff like that. That was like an awful lot of steel, an awful lot of cloth. And, or steel and chem fuel? I can't remember. It was a lot. I am really proud of our team for that one. That actually went surprisingly well. If we check it out here, left arm heavy gunshot. That was our only injury. Of course, there's a bunch of mental break risks and everyone's very unhappy, but they used the, they used a bit of that table there and they used the rest of the tables in there to get themselves a meal afterwards. And I think, I think we're good for a bit. All right, let's see, potatoes get yeah, 3,888. And over here, this is looking far less occupied. That looks so much better. I'm almost tempted to get rid of these as well, but I was sort of hoping to throw a, a raid of manhunters at them. Mm, we'll find out, though we may lose humans. You see, the, the problem I have is I want to capture humans, but if we leave these out here, the humans might end up dying on this instead. But if we kill them, it might be a waste of something they could take care of a nasty manhunter packer. Mm, I'll think about it. 
Randy has been good to us today. We've got another new recruit. Excellent. Say hello to colonist number 20. Bodil. Bodil? Bodil. Oh, yeah, so Bodil has joined us. They've got... Ooh, yeah, we definitely need to plant her. Right now, we're not being able to plant our plants fast enough, so I'm thinking, yeah, straight into planting for them. Secondary in animals. We don't really do the mining just yet. So, yeah, a psychically deaf misogynist, Nimble. Any health addition? No, nope, no health problems. Okay, Bodil, you'll be planting in animals for the foreseeable future. Nice. Uh, oh, let me make sure they're set up. I've changed so that the, uh, I've edited the anything thing, so it, it block, blots out some things that I don't want people wearing. And I've edited the lavish meals restriction. These are all the defaults that people get. So I've edited them to the way I want them. So they don't pick up things like, well, I don't want them eating corpses or raw food. They'll only pick up proper meals. And also normal drugs has been edited to be the normal drug policy, which I suppose makes different, makes sense. That way everyone immediately starts on this. And I have a, a special one for people who have uh, chemical addictions. And then I have a no psychite one for people who are trying to get over psychite addictions. Actually, is Slipman over that? They no longer needed to be off the drugs, so it's fine. We've got uh, three standard policies. We've got your normal drugs, which is just everyone can take it if their mood goes below a certain threshold. Otherwise, they won't take the drugs. Uh, then we've got your chemical addiction people. They're pretty much on the same thing, but I like to have the option to uh, fiddle around with that later on. And then we've got your zippy drugs. This is for the people who have the jogger trait, though Alucard is not really much of a jogger anymore, what with the wooden leg. Uh, but what that does is it makes sure that they hold a bunch of go juice on them, just in case they need that extra oomph for if they're running away from things I... Well, I'm going to send these people out on dangerous missions where they have to run away from things that are going to try and kill them. And having go juice on you is a, a nice last ditch thing that they can ch tuck into. Randy's next gift to us was some mad boom rats. I think that counts as a whole raid, so we got off easy there. We've got a heat wave on top of that, so it's now 51C outdoors. And then we've now got a party because Jason decided it was party time. Okay, well, at least they're all partying in this room for now. And why is there blood everywhere? Uh, just maybe a quick clean of the room before you do that might be a nice idea, guys. Just just saying, you know. Oh, yes, it, it's the good times. Randy's sending us the good stuff. The needy prisoner. Uh, basically, someone's done something they shouldn't have. We keep their, keep them in our colony for 20 days. They've got blood rot, so they can't do anything. We just have to dump medicine into them. That's fine. I think we've got... Yeah, we got 65 herbal medicine. Ooh, for a bit more. You know what? It's, it, it'll be okay. The good part to quit the quest is their people are going to come after them. Human people. Human meat bags we can capture and recruit. 162 of them. And that's a lot of meat bags. And that makes me hesitate because, you know... That could be really dangerous. However, this here is a mercenary slasher, which 120 of them will be, I believe. Uh, they'll have a shield belt, headgear, basically no ranged weaponry there. Also, the other one was a scavenger thrasher. So I think there's like 40 of those. And they'll have an axe, a gladius, a knife, or a mace or a warhammer. In other words, this entire raid is going to consist of only close combat people, at least the first one. So the first one will consist of only close combat people, and don't we have a bunch of mechs hanging around somewhere? So I, I think we're going to be taking this. For the honor, I would really like that Zeus hammer, but ugh, Cataphract Helmet and Grenadier Armor, they're mildly tempting, but no, that 12 honor will go a long way towards getting us a whole bunch more psi levels. And this uh, Persona Zeus hammer, though, I really like it. Psychic Sensitizer and Cam Thoughts, that's perfect on a caster. That would be... But no, no. We're going to accept it for the honor, but only after we've built, built it bigger prison cells. We need, we need more prison space. This is what our new prison facilities are going to look like. I think I'll split them up into four separate groups. They might all prison and break together, they might not. Uh, I'd prefer to keep them split so that if they do break, it'll be smaller bunches. That's the hope. Uh, combat supplier showed up. They still did not have a doomsday. It's like Randy's decided no more doomsdays this, this run through. I haven't seen a single doomsday yet, despite all the towns we've visited and despite all the combat suppliers that have shown up. Uh, at the same time, what else was there? Well, this heat wave is messing up our fridge. The temperature in here is... 18C, so I'm basically butchering up all the animals before they go off. I won't get them all, but hopefully we'll get a few of them. Uh, how much meat we got? Okay, there's more than that, but uh, at the same time, we still have a few of these slowly creeping in. Uh, actually, let's get one more person up there. Ortec? Yeah, you're, you're charged up enough. Come on, shoot him down, shoot him down. Uh, you can do a stun on that one. Perfect. That was flawless. They're all coming from over here somewhere. Where is it? Ah, yes. These assembly machines. That's the third wave and final wave. They're risky enough. If they get off a shot or two, there's the possibility for them to do serious damage. But with them gone, we can finally go back outside again. I've been avoiding going outside because it's just, you know, dark and full of terrors. 
with an enormous amount of coolers. We've, we've set up seven of them. We've managed to get the temperature in here down to minus five. That's, that's, oh, minus six. Yeah, this is about the most we've achieved. Also, I've sealed off all the other doors. We had to chop up all the meat before it went off. I think we lost a couple of corpses anyway, but uh, it's it's fine. It's not the worst. We're having everyone exit to one door to stop them all being multiple buns. Whew. I should really put some airlocks on this. Yeah, that, that should probably be the next step. All right, uh, what was it? Ah, yes, that's finished. I think once this heat wave passes, we'll get tucked straight into the quest. Oh, the heat wave is finished. Thank God, that was become, beginning to become problematic. Uh, Quest-wise, we still have time to do this, the needy prisoner one. We've got plenty of time on that one. Five days. Hospitality for aristocrats has shown up. This one, no, I don't like it. We'd have to... We'd have to host a knight and 12 of their allies, and they would do nothing. And we have to keep their mood above 40%. We can't support that many people for, what, 20 days? 12 people? 12, well, 13 deadweights for 20 days? No, not a chance. Uh, so, let's finish off the last of this, wait till morning, and then call in our uh, call in our friend and see what pirate raids follow them. We're, we're running a little bit short on wood. I'm going to do a quick wood harvest and a quick plant of another batch of potatoes. I'm just thinking if we're going to be taking on some more prisoners, we're going to need more food production. Okay, I feel like Randy's just messing with me now. His next attack is a mad squirrel. What? Where is it? I can't even see it. Where, where are you, you little... Damn it. Oh. Great, it, it's hammering away at the door. Remind me to send someone over and take care of that horrible, horrible threat. And oh, scan steel. Finally, where are you? Please tell me. Oh, come on. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that seems just about right. Thank you, Randy. You are, uh, you are the gift that just keeps on giving every time. <laughs> what a muffus. I completely forgot to name our new recruits. Well, I was worried some of them were going to break in the middle of that. Uh, the whole heat wave is a bit of a problem. Anyway, uh, this is our newest recruit. Please welcome Fl Favorite Jeans. Yeah, I think Favorite Jeans has been with us before and on uh, one of our previous playthroughs. Uh, Favorite Jeans, you will be Chemical Interest, Staggeringly Ugly, and a Misandrist. So, he really dislikes and his trusts men. Oh, yeah, this was the only female in the group. Of the seven prisoners we captured, only one of them was female. And if we go in here, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five. We now have five out of 20, what, 22? Five out of 22 are female. And this one is staggeringly ugly, so yeah. Also a misandrist who hates men. So she'll hate all the men, and all the men will find her unattractive because she's staggeringly ugly. Yeah, it looks like there's not going to be any wedding bells in our future or any got-loving bonuses for anyone. This is just going to be a colony of celibates. I think there's only two people. There's like one couple so far. It's Pika Mula and Lee T. Doyle. That's it. Everyone else? Nope, nope. They're not getting any. Actually, oh, we got... Didn't we get an a, a aesthetic shaper or... Aesthetic shaper or... Ah, aesthetic shaper. Yes, we did. We can put that... We can apply that to uh, to them. That's actually... That's actually a good idea. That will make them far less unappealing. No offense, favorite jeans. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's the character, not you. Anyway, uh, that's 21. Number 22... Please welcome number 22, Sebastus. Sebastus here, hard worker and tough. This is actually two really good traits on one pawn, which is kind of impressive. That global work speed bonus really helps. Health-wise, well, they've got two bite scars on their legs from when they get tangled with the fuzz. Uh, yeah, that, that turns out to be their prisoner break penalties. Anyway, they're excellent cook. They've got excellent medical. They're like 12 medical already. If it wasn't for the joy fuzz they're currently experiencing, their medical success would probably be the best of all of our pawns almost. Also, excellent intellectual and crafting. I think we've got to stick him into cooking, though. If our population is about to explode like I think it is, we're going to need the cook. And as well as that, we'll put him into a secondary of intellectual. So, a, a doctor who cooks and does science on the side? Yeah, that could work. Jason here is about to come along and perform surgery on favorite genes here to give them this uh, aesthetic shaper. Now, I should really point out just how much of a difference this is going to make. Currently, they are at minus, what, minus 26 is the best they've got going on. Ooh, soft tame tortoise. So minus 26 is how much the best people like them. Let's say they minus 40 here from Ortec. Oh yes, let's say they minus 40 from Ortec. Let's see what happens when this is installed. And boom, that dropped by a whole 20 points. Now, not everyone completely hates them. They just mostly hate them. And hey, look, there's someone who actually thinks they're only a minus six. That's, oh my God. Oh, one of their acquaintances is actually have a, oh, disfigured minus 50. Never mind. Yeah, that, uh, maybe if we get a nose as well, we can throw that on them too. <laughs> this game is just, mm, delicious. I think we are ready to take the quest. 
We've got 7, 14, 21, 20. Well, actually, no, I put five in each of these, didn't I? Yeah, so maybe split these in and make these 20. So remove a couple of bed rolls from each of these. And we'll have, say, 20 beds here for 20 potential prisoners. I don't want to hire any more than that because I don't think we can feed that many more. We may, and if we do get a toxic fallout, we'll probably have to let a few go. Uh, let's uh, let's see what Randy has decided our future will be. Uh, you, except for 12 honor, and it all goes straight to... Hey, Pika, where are you? There we are. All to Pika, you're going to be well leveled if whenever we get around to clearing all these quests. Tank arrived? Protect him until the shuttle arrives in 20... Oh, his name is Tank. For a second there, I thought an actual Tank had arrived. Okay, Tank. I'm kind of curious. Hearing loss, hearing loss, frail. Oh my god, blood rot. Anesthetic sedated. Hmm, interesting. So, interestingly enough, they're a tortured artist. If we bothered curing them, they'd actually make a decent crafter. I mean, we got 20 days with them. Do we have the equipment to do it? Anti-Abasia hmm, requires 10 glitter world medicine. I don't think we do. Hmm, pity, pity. Do we? No, we don't. Damn it, I didn't keep any of the stuff. Uh, I just, I've never really found a good use for glitter world medicine. Uh, regular medicine is pretty much top notch. Even herbal medicine I get by with for just about 90% of the stuff. I only use this for regular medicine for operations. Outside of that, glitter tech is pretty much only good for curing this stuff, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, let's haul them in. Oh, and our research into specialized limbs has completed. Craft specialized bionic limbs built for spe uh, limbs built specifically for purposes. So in this instance, yeah, we're going to want those uh, field hands for improving our sowing and harvesting and drill arms for our people that are going to go out harvesting, well, resources around the map, which is going to be a while away yet. We still have to clear the map of all the stuff that's on it. Next up, what do we want? Well, first up, I should build a multi-analyzer, which I researched ages ago and then forgot to install. Considering its massive research bonus, that seems like a good idea. Uh, 8 regular components, 20 gold, 50 plasteel, and 40, uh, 40 regular steel. Yeah, I think we got all of that in store. Yeah, we're, we're covered on that front. Perfect. Uh, Research-wise, though, I think it's time to backfill tech. We're going to want to get our hands on a harp, because I'm pretty sure Pika's going to need one for their next ceremony. So we're going to start researching that. We're also going to want to get Devil Strand as well. That would be very nice. Um, Oh, Noble Apparel, we're going to need that too. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Would love to get into drug production. So many things you want, but you just don't have time for them. Anyway, let's uh, let's see when these pirates show up. A herd of muffalo showed up. Our food problems are. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. I don't have any food problems just yet. We've almost got seven thousand potatoes. We're, we're getting close to an optimum number, I think. All right, but wonderful quest has shown up. Wonderful quest. The smoky animals. Trader is calling. A pack of thirty-six wild megaslots are hunting him. He wants to help you draw the animals away from him. Megaslots will arrive. Blah blah blah. Basically, yeah, uh, nineteen hours from now, a whole bunch of megaslots are going to show up. The only question is, which which reward do we want? I mean, I was tempted by the mega screen television. That sounds wonderful, but I think I think we'll go for the tech prints. We don't have either of those tech prints, and I think it'll just keep offering them to us until we eventually t accept them. So let's just take those now. And uh, 19 hours from now, the mega slots will show up. We can only hope and pray that they show up at the same time as the pirates do for even more hilarity. Uh, and hopefully they show up on this side. Though, I think they might be able to take that. How many... In uh, actually, no, I keep forgetting. There's going to be an awful lot of Inferno turrets. They all the mega slots will get set on fire. It's really hard to fight when you're on fire, it seems. You know how I know we're not getting attacked by enough organics? I keep having to make guns. <laughs> We, we have no spare guns, like, we, we've got some rifles we picked up from earlier attacks, a sniper rifle, but that's it. We haven't actually picked up any decent guns from anyone, like SMGs, assault rifles, anything. It's just incredible. Oh, uranium. Uh, that's also not really that much use. And it's over here. Yeah, thanks, Randy. There's the steel. There's the uranium. Uh, we've got some silver over here and some gold over there. I pulled the silver out of the ground. It's just I don't want to add any more wealth to our colony just yet. What I'm waiting for is clearing the troubles on the map. Once this is cleared, we can then start concentrating on this. This will give us lots and lots of components. And if we concentrate on this, this will give us lots and lots of steel. By investing a lot into both of these, we can make sure we have lots of steel, lots of components, and that allows us to expand and basically build up our infrastructure. Namely, lots of hydroponics, lots of these, lots of power, lots of everything. That's sort of our gateway to powering into late game. Hmm but we still don't have enough sort of specialists at the moment for everything as well. We're still trying to specialize. We need more statues everywhere, though I do like our little hallway here. Our hallway room is extremely impressive, and everyone who dines in here gets a nice mood boost, and it's quite large and extensive, and it helps cut down on mood penalties, which reminds me of to extend it down here. The first of our wonderful packages has arrived. Say hello to 
36 angry mega slots. I think the plan here is going to be very simple. We're going to close the doors and just, yeah, leave it at that. Now, I was going to try lure them into the mechanoids, but then I thought, why bother? We can leave them outside the door, lock everything up. We don't need anything outside. I think there's some wood I was going to collect, but we can worry about that later. This way, if the pirates attack while this is going on, they can go through the mega slots before they get to us. Seems like a... Oh, I should lock the kill box. Yeah, I should close that door there. Doors closed. Animals successfully trapped outside. Uh, they'll stay there for about a day. Let's hope the pirates show up in that time. I would be really interested to see if the pirates get mauled to death by the mega slots or get shot up by the me mechanoids. I'm, I'm not sure which I'd prefer to see. Research-wise, things have been... Well, things have been just powering ahead. We've already got our hands on noble apparel. I think... I think we're going to go with tech that doesn't cost us components to use. I'd really like to get my hands on, say, hospital beds as well, but hospital beds need a bunch of components to make those, and we're still kind of low on components and steel. So for the time being, until we get those sorted, we're just going to go with the low-tech ones. Uh, loyalty stuff we'll need at some point or another once we complete all those missions that Peek is on. I I'm not sure how much royalty favor there's you at this point, but it's got to be like 24 or 36 almost. Uh, well, there's one of the mega slots took care of themselves. Excellent. Well, the uh, mega slots haven't decided to leave. A few more got sucked into the um, mechanoids, but Jason has started his social fight with Sebastius. And yeah, good, perfect. Sebastius, how you doing after that one? Bite, 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 bite. Damn, okay, that's... He's a biter. Good to know, Jason's a biter. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what the future holds. I'm still waiting on those pirates to show up and try and take back Tank. Mm, it gets me nervous. The longer the longer we wait, it's like, come on, just hurry up and get it over with. And there's supposed to be two of those raids as well, so that's why I'm not taking on these um, uh, mega slots. The thing is, since I know there's pirates raids coming and they're not tied to anything, they could come five seconds after I've just finished dealing with these or when I'm in the midst of dealing with these. It would be really awkward if a huge pirate raid showed up while I was in the, tied up in a kill box. So I decided not to harvest these. It would be nice to get the meat, but mm, I'd prefer to live. Harp. Harpsichord, all done. All we've got left now is the piano. That's worth 2,000. You know what? We'll, we'll leave that until we really level up somewhere. Uh, let's grab some of the uh, low-hanging fruit fire foam poppers. Yes, very much so. We're going to need those sterile material. Why not? Ooh, oh, fire foam first. Safety first, then we'll worry about research speed. Though honestly, I'm not sure the sterile tile is going to make much of a difference. While well, waiting to gain access to the outside again, I've got the constructors doing a little bit of uh, exercises in the background to keep their construction up. Why not? We might as well smooth this area out. We're going to have to do it eventually. Though it will be a long time before we have the resources to floor this area. Because of how long it's taking the animals to go, we're going to uh, invite them into the kill box. Uh, we should probably send someone out to go give them a wake-up call. Hmm. Jason? You're pretty zippy, right? <laughs> Um, should we really be doing this? Yeah, I'll be fine. We'll leave that door open. Worst case scenario, they come charging straight. Actually, we can have them charge straight down the corridor. We're kind of okay with that. Now, leave that door open. Yeah, let's welcome them all in. Ooh. Make sure you get out of the line of sight. We'll take care of that ambrosia sprout in a minute. Oh, come on in. You know you want to. They don't seem to want to tangle with us. Um, I think we'll just close the doors again and go out the old-fashioned way and just riddle them down with bullets. I think that might just be the same idea, though I will uh, make sure that the kill box is nice and sealed before we do that. We don't want uh, any surprises catching us while we're hunting. Eh, this should be interesting. If they fought back. Okay. Okay, this is way too easy. You two just get back to work. We'll have the rest of the squad go take care of this. I was really expecting them to fight back. Maybe they maybe they freak out after they go to sleep for the night. I think that's what happened. After they went to sleep, they had uh, no interest in fighting us anymore. After wandering around the map a lot, I just actually set them to single hunters after a while. These They didn't seem to respond or care. So there's this one left. They've got three hours left on them before they bleed out. The rest have been hunted down and killed. And there's that ambrosia sprout I completely forgot about. I think we've got all the low-end tech we want for now. I'll have to come back for pianos and, well... Maybe batteries at some point? I just don't really see a point to batteries considering the power source we're using. I would also like geothermal generators, but we've only got one generator in range that we could conveniently protect. So I'm thinking fabrication. Oh, I'd love jump jet packs, but no, 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 we can't afford it. Fabrication and then advanced fabrication. With those two knocked out of the way, 
we can then start producing our own advanced components. That's the last bottleneck for tech. Steel components and advanced components. Once you've got all of those sorted, well, you can pretty much just start scaling up the production of it. Ah, that thing finally bled out. We've got two tech prints, and they give a nice dose of science experience. Let's see who we're going to give this to. And we'll give it to favorite genes. They're 5786, and once they pop that one, I should actually grab them straight up to level 6. Won't quite take them to level 7, but it should get them about halfway there. Nice little way to do things. A uh, quest for... Yeah, there's a quest for the ceremony coming up, but we're not going to be able to take that until we wipe off those mechanoids. Where are those pirates? Actually, where is even the, um... There it is, raid source. Raid source, four enemies, six turrets, one mortar Yep, yeah, where, where are they? They're supposed to attack us once every 25 days. We haven't got a single organic attack in 25 days. Unless they're responsible for the mechanoids attacking us, maybe? I... I don't know, actually. That might require more research. Oh yeah, I'm going to uh, give us proper solid doors on the outside. I think it's about time we upgraded those. Those were meant to only be temporary, but since they've become permanent, I think granite doors are the order of the day, just to make sure we don't die to something silly. Wooden doors have a tendency to get set on fire by passing raiders. So far we have been lucky. Oh, would you look at that. Twelve gazelles just showed up. Delicious. All right. Come on. Ooh. Should we really be doing that? I'm just worried. Mm, you know what? Cancel all of those. Just realized we could have a whole army show up on our doorstep in a minute. Let's wait till they're a little bit further from the edge of the map. Our patience has paid off. Hell yeah. Long range mineral scanner has paid dividends. We've got a component seam found by Doc Jeeves and a second component seam. Oh, sorry. First is compacted machinery and second is more compacted machinery. So that's about 200 components for each one and there's one there and one there. That's... 400 components. We've only got 30 days to grab them, so t just hurry up, pirates, wherever you are, hurry up so that we can kill off those mechanoids so we can leave the map. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to shell them at mortars and convince them to attack us and then kill them and then leave the map as normal. But I'd prefer if the pirates did it. Just, you know, make things much simpler. When do we accept that quest? Uh, where is it? Oh my god, we have so many active quests. Uh, the needy prisoner accepted five days ago. That means they have, what, 15 more days? 15 more days for two attacks. Come on, guys, hurry it along. Our new stockpile zone will be ready shortly. That was actually pretty quick to build. How's our stone? Oh god, so much granite. We might use the granite to extend our kill box more. And what the? Oh yeah, I was looking through these. And uh, this is an interesting group of people. Where is it? Uh, you've got an eight in construction and they're an iron willed undergrounder. Uh, this one has a passion in construction, psychic Def gourmand night owl. Or is it this one has a double passion in construction, is a cannibal and kind. This one has a passion in construction and is a psychopath, misandrist and pretty. I don't think the rest have any uh, construction, but it's four constructors in that group. Four. It's seriously tempting to just, you know, kidnap a whole bunch of these people. But no, 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 it's fine. We're not going to do that because we don't need any more enemies just yet. We, we already have so many active quests, just so many. Uh, Pika, you know what, when you're finished building that granite door, no, no, I want you to trade with them. Maybe they've got something. Highly unlikely they're tribals. Finally, finally organics have shown up to attack us. Uh, pirates, Emily's axes, mercenary gunner. Wait, okay, so it turns out one of them is related and this is a gunner. We weren't told it was going to be gunners. Oh wow, that's a lot of weaponry. Okay, and it's also a siege. We need to get two people on the mortars immediately. We need to break them before they can start mortaring us. Ooh. Sculpture. We're going to immediately get Jason and oops, Jason and Edge Free to man the mortars. Once the enemies decide whether they want to set up, we're going to hit them at mortar shells. And dear lord, that's a lot of them. That's 125. Well, okay. We wanted fun. We're going to get fun. Is that is that where you're going to set up? Okay. If that is where you're going to set up, that is a lovely clumped target. Now we can hold down shift and target the ground. Uh, where is their mortars going to set up? You know what? We're going to land it right there. Yeah, yeah. That way if they miss by something, we'll... Yeah, they won't fire because they're set to hold fire, but no longer. Ah, oh, beautiful. Please give me a juicy shot. Oh my god, that's so many survival meals. Incoming. Ooh. Some minor injuries. I'm sure they'll walk it off. Uh, we should probably get someone prepped to warm up the kill box. Hmm. Once they 
once we damage them enough, they should start coming towards our kill box. We want to have this preheated before they get here. So the moment they break, we start running to sit out for Molotov on our little wick over there. The sieging pirates from Emily's Axis are assaulting the colony. That's perfect. That is exactly what we want. New recruits, fresh blood. All right, you. Uh, their prioritize work. Their prioritize work. Nice. Okay, we need to get that warmed up and get people into the kill box. We may not be able to, like, this may not heat stroke them all out, so we may just have to shoot them all. All right, that's the fire started. Uh, go back to equipping your heavy SMG. Now, let's just start raising the temperature in there. It's already 40, 41. Perfect. Yeah, just uh, hold those Molotovs back and get back to work. They're going around this side, though, because that is stuck in a doorway. I don't know how they dropped it in the doorway. I don't care. One of you needs to immediately... Yeah, just grab that now. That needs to be out of there so that they change direction. Hurry, 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 hurry. Seriously, why are you so slow? Oh, wait, you're not. Mm -mm -mm. We'll just have you run back inside. There you go. Good fella, good fella. Why is that guy so quick? Go juice. Ah, it's a wonderful drug. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll let everyone go back to work. All of our people we want to make sure they're in the right zones. Okay, the longer they take to to wander around outside, the warmer this should get. We're only up to 90 C. You can see there in the bottom right, indoors, it's now 100 Celsius. And the joy about Celsius is, you know, that is boiling point. So it's literally the boiling point of water. What are you doing? Setting fire to the crops? That's okay. That That's fine by me. Come on, hurry up. Get into our, get into our little sauna. What's the temperature? 124. Now, the reason we chose um, oh, wooden barricades is wooden barricades have a an awful lot of hit points, and they seem to burn for longer. I have to do a bunch of testing on it to be sure, but as far as I can tell, that you seem to get the most fire for your investment. Uh, how are you guys doing already? You should be heatstroke initial, and you haven't even got very far. That is that is perfect. You're up to heatstroke 10%. I think it's 60% they need to get to before they'll pass out, so I think we're good. Though I really wish they'd actually hurry up a little bit now. Oh. Needs repairing the door. Nice. Let's skip this forward a bit and see how it works. Well, it turns out our tunnel's not long enough. They're not passing out. Also, a whole lot of them are on go juice. Oh my god, so many of them are on go juice. Hopefully these ones back here don't go through as fast and pass out before they get there. Time to summon in our people. On the bright side, the heat stroke does affect their consciousness, movement, a whole bunch of other stuff, so it should make them easier to kill when they get out the other side. Come on, everybody, get to positions, positions. Uh, I know we could use up those uh, preset position ones, but I have a tendency to change them every single round, so I just leave it the way it is. Dear God, hell juice, gold juice is a hell of a drug. Just look at them plow through all of that. Seriously? How? How? What did it take to kill you? Oh my God. All right, everyone else, line up. Are you ready to bear witness to a bit of a turkey shoot? Uh, yeah, they're just gonna wander in here and get... What the hell are you doing? Don't be throwing grenades in the kill box. Oh, that could be really bad. If he throws a grenade at one of these walls, we're in a lot of trouble. That could be hugely problematic. Um, also, do any of them have shield belts? That would be bad also. And shield belts. Oh, damn it, I should've closed that door. Okay, that guy needs to get got. Anyone who's got any kind of a splash weaponry needs to die instantly. Oh, did that person lose their arms or something? No, they've still got their... Oh, they broke? They broke? Ah, a whole bunch of them fell over from... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is the tricky bit. Now, knocking them out with a heat tunnel is fine. The thing is, if you use too much heat, and we go above 240 in here, oh god, we're 230 already, if you go above 240, it sets them on fire. Well, it starts to set them and their equipment on fire, and then you end up with the fire going out of control, next thing you know it's a thousand degrees and the whole place, everything's incinerated and everyone dies. What you want to do is keep it below 240, but high enough that they stroke out fast enough before they go through your tunnel. Ideally, we'd want to make this tunnel about twice as long, and then we keep it about 150, and they'd stroke out before they get to the end. However, yeah, I didn't know exactly how long I needed it. But, you know, we, we, we can extend this tunnel or make a, an improved one later. But for now, what we need to do is keep the heat in. All right, the thing is, we need to keep it hot, but not so hot that they pass, that they die. We need to keep them constantly stroked out. Okay, just first we got to do a little bit of a mop-up. Uh, yeah, they're going to try and break down these doors. The system was designed with this in mind. If they break down this door, there's still this door here. 
which means this is not an open room. What happens is if you break down to the wall, say this wall segment here, this instantly becomes part of the outside world and the temperature in here will instantly equalize and suddenly it's now 34C. And all those people who've passed out from heat stroke, they'll start to recover rapidly, like very, very rapidly, at which point you're in a lot of trouble uh, because those rapidly recovered people will start leaving the kill box and you don't want them to. You want them to stay inside the kill box unconscious until you finish capturing them. Okay, uh, we're going to stay over here for a minute, wait until the rest of them either stroke out or escape, and then once they've either stroked out or escaped, stroke? Yeah, heat stroked. Heat stroked out or escaped, we then put out the fires in there to drop the temperature. What is it? Uh, oh, is that a doomsday? Oh, it's not even bio-coded. Thank you kindly. All right. Uh, yeah, you can still see them dropping. Come on, come on, come on. The rest of you, I need you all to pass out. And you notice the temperature in there hasn't equalized even though they cracked open the door. It's also why you've got multiple doors here. These are all open doors so that if they do decide to break out this direction, these doors would stop the heat escaping. We also have two doors there to stop the heat escaping. We have door, 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 just in case. And we have a door here at the entrance. This whole thing is still a continuous room. Even though they've broken down some doors, still a continuous room. We double, triple prepared for that stuff. Okay, maybe over prepared a bit. Ah. Here's the problem. That fire is now spreading. This fire was specifically designed to keep the temperature at where we wanted it. For this size of room, I have to do some testing on a test map. So if this fire starts up, that's going to add more temperature. We do not want that. So immediately expand the home zone. And I'm going to want you all to get in this as well as that. We're going to crank open these doors and keep them open. Reason being that should help dissipate some of the heat. Uh, how about looking at in here? 200 degrees. Come on, come on. Where are you going? You're you're going for food. No, you're not. You're going to help out capturing prisoners. That's what you're going to do. Where are you? Yep, also going home. That's fine. Uh, anyone who decides to leave, you're going to help out with prisoners instead. Don't go eating your meals standing out in the open like savages. Okay, perfect. All right, how many prisoners, I suppose, is the question. Uh, let's say, double-click there, unselect the ones that are outside the heat stroke area. We've got 81 unconscious right now. But just for now, they'll either wake up if we're too slow, or they'll die if we let the heat go too, leave it too hot for too long. So we need to start capturing them right now. Uh, we're going to need more prison beds. That should give us... Okay, this, this may be entirely way too optimistic, but hey, one can dream. One can dream. Now, I have sent Jason over to pop uh, a suit pulser. Everyone's a little bit low, and I want them... Well, I'm going to need them working flat out for the next while. Also, look at all the, just the guns lying around the place. There's a heavy SMG. Heavy SMG. All, all these weapons, we could have used so much of them earlier. I suppose we can scrap them now and hopefully get some components out of them. Uh, you guys. I'm going to need all of you to start capturing prisoners. Yep. Just, we're going to capture everyone we can. Now, we can't keep them all, unfortunately, but I, I have, I think, a plan to... Uh, you know what? I'll cover it later. That is a very active capture session. I like it. Temperature in here is starting to get a little bit too cold. It's 63 degrees, so we're going to start a little bit more fire. Uh, that won't, won't do a great job, but it should take, keep the temperature hopefully a little bit more stable while we can grab a few more prisoners. There's just so many, we don't have enough people to capture them all fast enough. So right now I'm slowly dragging out all the prisoners. We've got a decent stack of them already captured, so we got 24. We're going to take them all, but we're not going to keep them. We're going to have a sort of a, almost a lottery of how we keep them. Well, I'll cover that in a bit. Because we're only going to be hold about 22. Any more than that, it's just, it, it gets ridiculous. We just, we didn't have the food production to take care of them. Plus the, the wealth spiked it. Just, no, no, no. But for right now, what we're doing is, uh, we have Rachel here who's sort of our, uh, our thermal control. Rachel Matt here is basically throwing down, uh, Molotovs to keep the heat up. So this would be our, our sort of our canary in the coal mine. They're getting a bit too close to heat stroke death. So we're going to drop the temperature again. We've been keeping it hovering around 60 to 90. So we're going to get them to start putting out these fires up here. And we have to keep an, I have to keep bouncing back and forth to make sure people keep capturing more prisoners. Uh, Jason, yeah, we'll get back to you in a minute. And that's pretty much my life. Lots of micromanagement to get as many prisoners as possible, but I think it will be worth it. Oh, looks like Bodhi's gone into a sadistic rage. Uh, unfortunately, they're psychically deaf, so the suit pulser didn't affect them. Everyone else got a, uh, a plus 15 bonus. They got a uh, fat zero. They're probably going to kill a prisoner. Oh, well. Tiny more where they came from. Oh, damn it. They've started to recover. They're getting up and walking out. Um. Yeah, forget it. 
we'll stop the capture attempts and we'll just leave. It's just simpler that way. If we try and stop them, there'll be a fight, and I don't want to get into a fight with them. Ooh, that one there is still unconscious. Uh, you capture him. That's one down, and yeah, we'll let the rest go. What the? Yeah, no longer capable of walking. Where is our... Hey, Bodhi, you got your butt handed to you. <laughs> Sorry. You picked a fight with one of our prisoners, and that prisoner survived. In fact, oh, should we give them medical attention? Oh, crap. <laughs> There's so much going on. How many prisoners do we have? 43. 43 prisoners. That's a hell of a haul. Okay, I'm going to cut this mess out here for today because I think we're, um, yeah, we're way over budget. But the, uh, the plan will be we're going to keep exactly 22 and we're going to even its number so that by the time we hire them all, assuming none of them die during the recruitment process, we'll have an equal amount of uh, women and men. And the only ones we're going to keep are the ones with the lowest resistance. That way it's completely random who we keep. Well, not completely random, I suppose. There is something to having lower resistances. I'm not sure what it is. But this should mean that it ends up being, you know, a random assortment of pawns, exactly in the spirit of the playthrough. We have 54 prisoners here, and there's another one in transport, so that's 55. We have way too many, many. Like, just to put this in perspective, that's 175 food. We're going to go through all of that in a single day. Wait, no, two days? No, single day. A single day, all of our colonists combined with all our prisoners would eat all of those meals. We cannot afford to keep all of these. Recruitment process, very simple. Based on this infection rate as well, we're going to sort by resistance remaining, and then we're going to hire 17 women, 5 men. And that should even at the numbers so we have a 50-50 mix of both. And we're only going to take the ones with the least resistance. That's it. And who don't have infections. And the ones who do have infections or any of the ones we're not keeping, we're just going to have to kick them out the door. We cannot keep them around. I, I stripped a bunch of them off because I realized some of them had marine armor. What if they try and prison break with marine armor? Our alpacas are going to like break their te teeth on that. Look at all the stuff we stripped off them. There's, there's 13 flak vests for the love of God. I think there's three recon armors there. Yeah, there, there's three recon armors. There's some marine armor. We're going to have so much equipment to hand out and so much of a wealth spike. Also, medicine. Yep, got some of that. Triple rocket launchers. Got five of those. Doomsdays. Got three of those. This has been... Yes, this has been the gift. Oh, and it keeps on giving because over here we've got 354 packaged survival meals, 12 incendiary shells, 13 components, and 545 steel. Oh, and that's a... It's a bio-coded rocket launcher. We need to, we, we just, we need more time to sort this all out. I mean, we've got to bring all this stuff in, start scrapping a bunch of these old weapons for parts. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I am, I'm, I'm going to be not doing a Dyson Sphere episode this week because I'm trying to do a, a range of time lapse. So it's just going to be, for the rest of the week, it's just going to be all RimWorld, sort of because I'm kind of really stuck into it right now and I just want to get more of this done. We'll have the, the last episode of Dyson Sphere on the, on the Monday coming. And after that, we'll be back onto doing Oxygen Unincluded. So, mm, I just, anyone got any suggestions for a playthrough? I'm just curious to see what uh, what those suggestions are. I haven't looked at any of the new content they've dropped, and I just, mm, <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway, I am going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoy it, and good luck.